Nigel, a 2-0 loss. Are you wondering how you've not scored tonight, given all the possession you had and the, the shots you had at goal? In some ways, but I think it was one of those days where I think we could have played till midnight, <laughs> not scored tonight. Uh, a lot of good football uh, right from the first few minutes. Um, we gave the ball away early on uh, and, we, and we were punished. It was a brilliant ball that I'd played through and a great finish. Uh, but after that, then if we get a goal at any point, especially in the first half, then we'll probably get something out of the game. Uh, but very pleased generally with the performance, um, just not, not enough end product and not enough quality in the final third. Yeah, your players got into such promising positions. Yeah, yeah, we as I say the. We can control how we play it to a certain degree and you know how we go about it, passing the ball and moving and everything which we did. We can't control that final ball. Um, and as I say, whether it's a shot or a cross or a pass or whatever, it wasn't quite there tonight. Um, but the, the general principles of how we want to play certainly were. Were you expecting one more so in the last 20 when they went down to 10 men? You were still on top. 11 v 11, but in the last 20, you really laid siege at their goal. Yeah, we did, and I, th I think it's fair to say we had a couple of very, very good shouts for penalties tonight. Uh, they keep telling they've changed the handball rule. I didn't think they'd taken it out of the game altogether. Uh, I think there were two uh, absolute blatant penalties for handball uh, in the second half, uh, which we, we didn't get. And even leading up to their second goal, which ends up going in deflected, uh, the lad actually stopped. Uh, one of their players because he'd handled the ball waiting for the referee to give the free kick against him uh, and for some reason he didn't uh, and you saw all the players I think when you get eight or nine players questioning a decision as they were then there's something wrong with it uh, You also looked at a, a new system tonight didn't you in the second half uh, what was your thinking behind that how did it go? It was pretty much the same. I'm sorry, I have to tell you, Steve. Oh, yeah, uh, we didn't change too much tonight. We just sort of it changed a little bit because once you put Davis up top, then you've probably got two players coming off uh, and playing off a central striker, uh, you know, with Davis and Ben Quinn, uh, which gives them a slightly slightly different problem. Uh, but we wanted a 45 minutes good training session for everybody as well for. Uh, Lee Gregory and Will Evans to resume their partnership up top and I thought they did well in the first half. Uh, ben Quinn was lively throughout, uh, so nothing wrong with anything. Uh, again, a bit like the Bolton game, just the result. My mistake, it looked like a three up the top at times in the in the second half. Yeah, well, especially when they got out ten men, then we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to play a little bit further forward and the full-backs can uh, get even higher at, at times. Uh, but, you know, when Rotherham's sitting as they do, nine men are, you know, on the edge of the box, it is difficult to break down. But we did have the situation, certainly. Uh, and if one of them, you know, if we get the penalties, then it's a different game again. In terms of players, in terms of news, no Aidan Flint tonight. Was he just rested? Uh, no, him and uh, Lewis Reid are just suffering from sore Achilles at the moment. I think the grounds are pretty firm uh, and they both felt it, so they weren't risked tonight. You just saw everybody else feet. Uh, and Tom Nichols has still got interest uh, and we've got a bit of interest in Will Swan as well so we didn't want to risk him um, So Will Swan what's the status would you say with him at the minute? Well nothing's uh, imminent uh, but we have, have had some uh, strong inquiries for him so we're just going to assess those in the next few days uh, but it seems daft if we play him and then he picks up a knock or gets injured with 10 days before the window in a, you know, a Bristol Street Motors game so uh, we didn't risk him and you spoke yesterday about a potential incoming on loan. Any uh, update there? Yeah, we're making a bit of progress. We're just in the hands of the other club. Uh, you know, we're making calls. Simon's making calls every day, uh, sort of trying to get a, a positive answer. Uh, but I think we're getting closer. Final word coming away from here now, looking ahead to Lincoln back in League One on Saturday. What have you made of their first two league games? Uh, well, uh, probably a little bit up and down. You know, they had a great win at Burton first day um, and then lost at home to Barnsley narrow, narrowly on Saturday. So um, it's going to be, I think, a, another good game. Uh, I hope it's as entertaining as the first three.